The year is 1975, and in that year, a new movie gets released. And in that movie, we see this character. No, it's not Angus McKenzie. It's Tim the Enchanter. But who is Tim the Enchanter? By what name are you known? There are some who call me... Tim? Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And today we have a nice envelope with a really cool card, a card that I wanted to add to my collection for the longest of times because it is the lookalike of Tim the Enchanter. And then you probably already know what's going to be in this pack. Let me get it out for you. So I bought it from uh, three for one, three for one, I should say, trading. And here we go. It's a really nice uh, company to do business with. They're nice sellers of old school magic cards and maybe also some newer stuff. I don't know. I only play old school cards from them. This looks kind of nice. I think they're located in, what is it, Switzerland or Austria? Maybe Austria. Look at this. Isn't that cool? And yes, this is an Italian version of the card. So this is Angus McKenzie. And I want to talk a little bit about Angus McKenzie. You know, I want to talk a little bit about it. So Angus McKenzie is a card, according to the lore, um, he protected the city of Caracas. And he was eventually killed, while well, I'm trying to open this, killed by Lady Orca. And um, here we see the card. Let me just get it out for you and show it close by. So Angus McKenzie, this is the Italian version. And what it does, as you can see, it's one white, one blue, and one green to cast. And when you pay the same amount as its casting cost, you can tap it and it prevents all combat damage. So this is really nice in decks that you call them pillow for decks. Basically what they want to do is just that nobody deals any damage. You know, it's kind of like a turbo fog effect. Nobody deals damage. And then of course you have an alternative win condition, for example, a millstone plan, and you beat the opponent by doing that. But I want to take a moment to also talk about the character that we see being portrayed on this card because Angus McKenzie is actually not nicknamed Tim, which is kind of interesting because he looks a lot like Tim the Enchanter. For the people that don't know, Tim the Enchanter is a person you see in my videos before my videos start. And it shows a scene from the Monty Python movie, The Holy Grail, Monty Python and the Holy Grail, that was released in 1975. And when Magic got released, the Alpha expansion in 1993, People started calling the Tim, the Protocol Sorcerer, they started giving him the nickname Tim, as in Tim the Enchanter. Because they kind of thought, you know, being Protocol and being like Tim the Enchanter is kind of aligned. And obviously, a lot of Magic players were also a fan of the Monty Python movies. Now, in 1994, of in June, uh, a new expansion set got released, and that was Legends. And in Legends, apparently the... Uh, the artist Brian uh, Wackwitz is also a big fan of uh, Tim the Enchanter because, I mean, it is just, you know, you cannot deny that these two look alike a lot. This is Tim the Enchanter. I know it's called Angus McKenzie, but for me, this is just Angus McKenzie, right? So it's definitely a look alike. And I also wanted to share um, this card with you. Maybe you've seen it before. It was sent to me. Uh, by a viewer, uh, very good guy, fan of the channel, and he's made this uh, this proxy card of Angus McKenzie, and of course, using the art of Tim the Enchanter. So yeah, I mean, to me, it's clear this is Tim the Enchanter, right? So it's really cool. I just wanted to share this with you. I think it's a, it's a great card. Can't wait to start brewing with it. This was my mail day today. I know it's a very short mail day, uh, but I'm really, really happy to now own this card. And um, Enjoy your day and thank you for watching. Oh, before I end my video, I would just like to um, ask you to like, subscribe, uh, leave a comment if you like what you see. And of course, uh, you can also become a patron of the channel. There's probably a link popping up right now. It's, it's actually a lot of fun and your name will be mentioned in the end scroll when you become a patron. Talking about the end scroll, let's go and take a look to our fantastic, amazing patrons and channel members of Timmy Talks. Here we go. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do with the drunken 